Previously on the Dimensional Origins SMP. Screech and Z discovered a secret room with strange writing on the walls, which Z quickly recognized as Moore's code. After a bit of braining and some help from Dark, Z and Screech translated the signs into the following message. What's taking so long? You said this would be ready by the time they arrived. The story cannot continue until you finish. That's not my problem. Find a distraction. That's what you get for breaking plausibility. Just get it done and report back. It's not as simple as just getting it done. You hold physical power over this world. Are you sure you're up to the task? Quit nagging me and I will. It's not nagging, it's to remind you of your- Everything has limitations. I can't just manifest detailed things. Don't question my commitment when you're lazing about in your tower. You know I'm bound to this place. Hold up, someone's coming. Who? No one can get here but us. I'll figure it out later, just make yourself scarce. After they discovered what the signs meant, the three headed back to the radio tower and discovered some strange tentacles which had attacked both Screech and Dark. Thankfully, they were able to fight them off without too much hassle, and the group went inside. While there, they found a book which read, Welcome to your life after life. So, I see you made a deal with my favorite little demon plush. Connix is just a devilish little darling, right? You don't agree? Writing that down. Anyways, welcome to the radio tower. A sort of safe haven in this honestly rather wacky dimensional hellscape. And since I've got you here, I'll be writing down any transmissions we get and leaving them in these books for you. How will you know when that happens? Don't worry about it. I have many strings I can pull. Signed, The Puppeteer. C was, uh, confused. Your life after life? That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's not... It's, I'm not dead. But quickly moved on to looking more into the tentacles, which seemed to sprout from obsidian blocks reaching all the way down to bedrock. Satisfied with their investigation, the three headed back to Z's base and Darkworks, where they ran into a friend and Z got proposed to? Apparently? I don't know, man. I got this diamond and it says engagement ring, so I guess that's a thing now. Anyway, I hope you all will tune in next time I go live at twitch.tv slash theuninformedzenial to stream more DIOSMP lore. See you then!